Now at six o'clock, there's a growing marine mystery in the Florida Keys. People reporting that they have seen many species of fish acting very erratically and even worse, endangered sawfish have been found dead. So what could be causing all this? Local 10's Louie Aguirre traveled to Big Pine Key to find out. Louie. I can tell you that since December, FWC officers have been working with researchers and fishing guides and uh, scientists from Florida Gulf Coast University testing and sampling these waters. But as of tonight, they are no closer to finding out why this is happening. Ooh, 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 get the dogs out. Something bizarre is happening to the fish in the lower keys. That's not something I've ever seen fish do, ever. Since December, 20 critically endangered small tooth sawfish have been reported dead, according to the latest numbers from FWC. This is a very large species, and the size of the sawfish we're seeing uh, coming inshore and uh, eventually dying. And it's not just sawfish. More than a dozen species of all sizes, from pinfish to grouper, have been observed acting erratically, spinning, and clearly distressed. And longtime residents, like technical diver Greg Furstenworth, are very worried. It's disturbing. If it keeps going like this, it's the uh, end of an ecosystem as we know it. The event seems to be centered between Cudjo and Big Pine Key, but there have been sightings stretching from Key West to Marathon. You can pretty much see it every single day until last Saturday. And you're seeing more and more species exhibit this behavior? Yes. But no one knows what's causing it. So far, early testing has ruled out red tide, low oxygen, disease, and other pathogens. But according to FWC, high levels of a toxic algae have been detected, though what it is is still a mystery. Right now, we do not have a smoking gun relative to a particular toxin that may be causing these issues. Donna Hart, manager of Lower Keys Tackle, stresses so far this has only been documented inland and says offshore fishing has not been impacted. I don't want people to be afraid to come and enjoy the Florida Keys and get out on the water and go fishing and go snorkeling. There's no impact, no impact whatsoever beyond our near shore waters that I'm aware of right now. But scientists remain baffled. We don't know if this is, you know, just a preamble, if this is going to get a lot worse. We don't know if it's going to spread to other areas. We have no idea, right? I really do think we need to get on top of this. Yeah, very troubling indeed. So far, there does not appear to be any human impact from either contact with the water or ingesting affected seafood. However, FWC is stressing that if anyone catches a fish that appears to be behaving erratically or bizarrely, do not eat it, do not consume it. Contact FWC straight away. We'll have a lot more on the story this coming Wednesday on Don't Trash Our Treasure and right now on Local10.com. For now, I'm live on Big Pine Key, Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News. It is so concerning considering they don't know what's causing it. All right, Louis, we know you're on top of it. Thank you. All right.